Mayhar, a tiny township of Madhya Pradesh. Here lives Ustad Alauddin Khan, affectionately called Baba, by musicians and music lovers. A centenarian, the Ustad has become a legend in his own lifetime. Simple, God-fearing, he respects all religions. Life is a moving saga of adventure. He ran away from home to Calcutta at the age of eight. After spending many anxious days in a temple in Pathuria Ghat, living on one meal a day, he found his guru in the famous Drupadya, Nilo Gopal. After seven years, his parents traced him and brought him back to Tripura. They got him married. But on his wedding night, when everyone else was busy with the celebrations, the bridegroom slipped away to seek his first love, music. In a few years, he made a mark as a musician. <laughs> the famous actor, Girish Ghosh, gave him a job as an instrumentalist in Minerva Theatre on a monthly salary of 12 rupees. Alauddin then joined the court of the Raja of Muktagacha in Maimen Singh, where he met the Sarod player Ahmad Ali Khan. Alauddin promptly became his pupil. With him he went to Rampur, where he was destined to meet Wazir Khan, the celebrated Veena player of the Tansin family. Approaching Wazir Khan was a problem. Once, when the Veena player was out on a drive with the Nawab of Rampur, Alauddin lay prostrate before the carriage to attract his attention. by the talent and the tenacity of his new pupil and taught him for many years. With the blessings of Azir Khan, Alauddin later became the court musician of the Raja of Mayhar. Since that time, Mayhar has been the Ustad's home. It's here the Ustad trained a group of orphans and organized the Mayhar band. This experiment gave an impetus to all such later efforts in Indian orchestration. stepped out of India for the first time. He accompanied the famous dancer Uday Shankar on a tour of Europe and was acclaimed by Western audiences.
return, he stayed with Uday Shankar at Almora, where great gurus of Indian classical dancing were his colleagues. Alauddin, who plays almost all Indian instruments, now established himself as a teacher. disciplinarian molded his children and his pupils into famous musicians. His daughter, Annapurna. His son, Ali Akbar. son-in-law, Ravi Shankar. his nephew, Bahadur Khan. Energy. 
Sharon Rani. today constitute the most lustrous musical family in India and he still continues to guide fresh talent. claimed his genius by awarding him the Padma Bhushan. When the Ustad became a centenarian, it was an occasion of national rejoicing. Despite his fame, Baba is still the simple man that he always has been. sensitivity. For this restless genius, there is no halting place. He has still miles to go. <laughs> <laughs> 